Welcome to Electro Online. The next problem on the JE Advanced Test of 2021 is actually doable within the three minute limit that they give you. So let's read the problem and see why. It deals with torque and angular momentum. It says that a particle of mass m equals 0.2 kilograms is initially at rest in the xy plane at a point x equals minus l and y equals minus h where l is 10 meters and h is 1 meter. The particle is accelerated at time t equals zero with constant acceleration of 10 meters per second square along the positive x direction. Its angular momentum and torque with respect to the origin in SI units are represented by L and the torque symbol, respectively. I, J, and K are unit vectors along the positive x, y, and z directions, respectively. And if k equals i cross j, which means that x, y, and z axes are in the normal directions we're used to, then which of the following statements are correct? So again, we get four statements, and we need to figure out if these are correct. Now notice it's a very long problem. It takes a long time just to read it, so by now you probably only have about two minutes left. But I would recommend that you do, that you make a quick diagram of what's happening so you can picture it. So here we have the x, y axis. And at minus 10, minus 1, so right here, so this would be the point minus 10, minus 1, that's where the particle starts. It accelerates with acceleration A, and it ends up uh, passing the point over here and passing the point over here, where here we're at the point uh, 10, comma, minus 1, like this. And quickly, when something's accelerated at 10 meters per second squared, that means it covers 5 meters in the first seconds. So after one second, the particle would be here at uh, uh, five, uh, minus 5. I guess at still, that point, you're still at minus 5, minus 1. And then the next second, the particle would cover 15 meters. So it would end up over here after two seconds. So that kind of gives you the, the idea. It's the same acceleration as acceleration due to gravity. So again, five meters a first second, 15 meters a second second. So after two seconds, it will have covered a total distance of 20 meters. All right, so now you only have about a minute or so left. So what can we do about these four answers? The particle arrives at the point x equals l, y equals minus h, which is right here, l minus h, at two seconds. And you say, well, that's that's correct, so we know that A is correct. How about B? The torque is 2K when the particle passes through the point X equals L, Y equals minus H. So again, at that point, what is the torque? Now remember that the particle is undergoing a force, and we know that F equals MA. And we're given the mass, and we're given acceleration. The mass is 0 0.2. The acceleration is 10, which means the force is 2 newtons. And we know the definition of torque. Torque is equal to force times the perpendicular distance. So here we can see that the particle is moving in this direction. The perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point, to the origin, that distance is equal to 1. So in this case, we know that this is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2. And so that would be in the k direction. And the answer is yes, because you put your, your fingers in the direction of the force. Then you curl your fingers in the direction of the torque. Um, I guess in, in the direction of the, uh, the point of the origin. So F cross R. And the torque would come out the board, which is the positive k direction. So we know that B is correct as well. How about the angular momentum? Well, the angular momentum, by definition, is equal to I times omega. Now, I, it's a point particle, and notice that it goes to this line of action, so either we catch it over here with this velocity, or we catch it over here with this velocity, taking the component that is perpendicular to the line going from the origin to where the point is at. But it's easy to work at it with this distance right here, this moment arm, and at this point, because that's when the particle is moving at, well, after two seconds, the velocity at that point would be 20 meters per second. So, I omega. So I would be equal to mr squared, and omega would be equal to v over r, so that would be equal to mrv. So we know that the mass is 0 0.2, 
the radius, if we take it here, is one meter, and then we take the full velocity, because then it would be perpendicular to the moment arm, so the full velocity would be 20, and so it would be equal to four, and again, if you take your fingers in the curl of the angle of momentum, your thumb will point out this direction, so it would be four in the k direction, so that's correct as well. Finally, the torque equals k when the particle passes through the point x equals zero, and minus h. So this is the point 0 minus, minus 1, or h. And so we need to know the torque, and again the torque is equal to force times distance, and the force, uh, the particle passes through the point, so the force that would be equal to, uh, let's see here, the force is equal to 2, and the distance is equal to 1, so it gives you 2, and 2 is not equal to 1, so this is not a correct answer. And it looks like the answers A, B, and C are the correct ones, and they are probably the correct ones, and D is the incorrect one, and that would be the way in which we get full credit on this problem. I probably spent more than two minutes on getting the answers, so you can see you have to work very quickly and go to the definitions of force equals ma, torque equals f times the perpendicular distance, and angle momentum equals i times omega to get the correct answers and that. Yeah, two minutes, two and a half minutes to do this problem would be a very short time indeed.